Hey guys, if you are just tuning in, my name is Steph. I am diagnosed with bipolar type 1 mixed episodes with psychotic features, which means that I have a mood disorder mental illness disease. I don't like calling it a mental disorder. I prefer to call it a disease. And a lot of times I don't like telling people that I'm bipolar, even though I should. And so I will say I have a brain disorder, which is true. So I've been gone again. It's been so hard. This was not a happy new year for me by any means. Um, I hope that you guys had a wonderful new year's and Christmas, but mine was ass. Um, Around Christmas time, I did a video, I think I might have mentioned it, my cat got really sick. I have, I had four cats and one dog and one of my cats I spent five years trying to catch and he was probably one of the closest to me cats I've ever had. And the vet killed him. He perhaps would have died anyway. Um, but I don't feel like he was honest with me and I feel like he took advantage of me and so we picked another vet so we're gonna go there um for all of our animals in the future and i'm still dealing with this vet because i need him to get all the paperwork over to the other vet and they're very unreliable and so this has been going on in my head for a week someone i love that was part of my family died and a lot of people think that's crazy, it's just a cat. But like for me, I don't see any difference whatsoever in one life form or another that has a consciousness. They speak a different language, but they're no different than you or I in my eyes. So I I lost someone that I really love. And so these these types of things that come up, like I take medication, it's very important that you take medication. I'm not a doctor, but it's important. You need medication if you have a mental illness. It's chemical and there is nothing you can do about it except take medication or you could die. So I take my medication. A lot of people think that medication is supposed to be this one fix thing and it's not it's very 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 difficult my medication works to manage my mood and it makes it works to manage psychosis and um you know delusions and things like having an episode of mania it, it helps with that but it's still really scary because i've only been on this medication for four years three years i've been on this medication for three years and um, I believe I started on 150 milligrams and now I'm on 300 milligrams. It goes up to 400 milligrams. And so I had to increase my medication last year. Anyways, the purpose of this video was to tell you guys, like, if you don't, if you aren't someone with a mental illness or if you know someone with a mental illness or bipolar disorder and you're trying to help them, it's really important to understand that even though they're taking medication, it's an everyday struggle. It's an everyday struggle, the review of the thoughts in your like. I can not, like, something will happen really traumatic and it will just play over and over and over again in my head and I will try to make it stop and then I'll start thinking about something else and then that will become really negative and then I'll go right back to the thing that kept going over and over and over again in my head and it affects my sleep so I'm really tired. I haven't been eating well. So it's been really hard. So that's where I've been. I also want to say too, the, there was one good thing that's happened. Remember when I got really set off and I did that video about born again Christians because I was so shocked that my friend had gone off the deep end. Um, I She reached out to me again. I didn't think I'd ever hear from her again. And it's really awesome that we were able to set aside our differences and still have a friendship because we believe we're to she's a totally different person than she used to be i'm a totally different person than i used to be um but our beliefs align very much on political and things like that <clears throat> and she believes in a lot of 
what everyone else will call a conspiracy theory and this and that. And, um, but you know, I love her as a friend and in like, if you're a true friend to me at any point in my life, you're a friend for my life. So I've actually really enjoyed talking to her. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's been a ship all week. Like that, that I've literally been sitting in front of the TV watching Shameless for all week. Um, but yeah, my cat died. I've been thinking about my biological mom a lot. I've been thinking about my little brother, <clears throat> my half brother, a lot. And yeah. It's just, it's a daily struggle. I don't know what else to say. Um, I do have plans for more videos, better videos, uh, which I don't know how long they're gonna take to upload, so I'm not gonna make any promises. Um, but yeah, that's it for, I just wanted to like check in with you guys. I hope you guys all had a wonderful New Year's. Um, Zeus actually died at 1.30 a.m. on New Year's day in the middle of the night. Um, so yeah, like I said, it wasn't good, <laughs> but um, there's always tomorrow, right? Oh, I wanna say real quick, the world is fucking weird in the US right now. Like, it's so weird. If you're in Turkey, which I know uh, at least one of you is, um, in the US, it, it's bananas. People stormed our Capitol building and, you know, you have these really outrageous Trump supporters who are uh, kind of lawless. And I'm not going to say that when we had this big Black Lives Matter thing that people weren't lawless because that happened. Anyways, I'm going off freaking tangent. But yeah, it's been a crazy year here in the U.S., stay in Turkey or wherever else you are unless uh, you want to be in the middle of this madness. All right. Have a great day. Bye.